Okay, I thought today we could kind of do a catch up favorites video and I'm not gonna call this a beauty favorites because I only have a couple. Honestly, I've been keeping it very much the same. The Sappho Foundation, the Too Faced Love Flush Blushes. I can only talk about them so many times, but hopefully I'll have some new beauty products to share with you soon. I've made some springtime purchases, so started testing out some new things and I'm not sure, I might've already put up the video where I started testing some things. So if I have, I'll put that in a card up above. I have a couple standout beauty products and then the rest is just randomness. I have some health things, I have some planning, I have some presents, some Christmas presents that have become huge favorites. So if you're interested in some of my random loves, this is the video for you. I will go ahead and I'll start with the beauty products just in case that's all you're interested in. Okay, I'm gonna swatch, I'm gonna swatch these first things before I talk about them. I had to mention the Bite Lip Pencils. These are so good. I got my first two in an influencer box. I got shade number 20, which is a nude. And then I also got 44, which is a really deep color. Then I purchased to myself number 38 is gorgeous. That's the middle shade. And my favorite most worn because it goes with anything is number 18. I was wearing this in my one of my recent videos where I was wearing like a nude Ilia lipstick and this worked great. And then I have it on today with a little bit of Red Apple Lipsticks Barcelona on top. They're so creamy. They work great as a normal lip liner, but you can also use them to fill in your lips completely and kind of act as a lipstick. The packaging has pros and cons. The pros is that I think they're really sleek and I love the color indicators on the bottom. The con is the cap. I don't, if you follow Bite on Instagram, you will know that these have been in production for forever. I'm just not sure how the cap made it through quality testing. You have to press it on so hard. And even when I'm trying to be really cognizant of it and press it down great, it still comes off in my bag. And I've had a couple messes so far. So not enough for me not to recommend it, but the cap is a little bit of a weird choice to me, but I do think the colors are beautiful. And then number 38 again and number 18 are my favorites. I have the most sensitive skin on my legs. And the one product I found that I thought really made a difference was the Acura Foaming Shave Gel. I went through dozens, dozens of bottles of those. Unfortunately, it's not currently being made. I saw on Instagram, I guess they were producing it in Germany maybe, and they needed to find some place to produce it in the States. I don't know, I'm just trying to find something to use in the meantime until I can get my hands on it again. I've tried a lot of shaving gels and creams from Conventional Beauty, Green Beauty. These were the two things I found that have been working the best for me. The first is the Pacifica Coconut Milk Shave Whip. Whipped shave cream, rich and moisturizing. I found this at Ulta. It might be an Ulta exclusive, but it, this is great. And it comes in pretty bottles and lots of pretty scents. This I'll use on days where I'm just trying to get out the door and it works really good for that. And then on days where I have a little bit of extra time, like today, I use the Cocoa Infusion for hair, skin, and nails from Leilani Skincare. My favorite scent is Pua Le. I have used this. It's been going on years now, and every time I smell it, I think, oh, it must be time for spring and summer because I always pull out this scent this time of year. This one is coconut oil based, so I like to keep it in the shower. That way the steam from the shower will help to melt it, but it is so luxurious. It smells incredible. I, this is something I wish I could just reach out to you and let you smell, but this is great because on days I use this, I don't have to use anything when I get out of the shower. My skin is that moisturized. So just lovely. And again, you can use this for a lot of things other than just shaving. Last but not least in the beauty category, I brought down the Drunk Elephant Sea Firma Day Serum. This is a favorite, but I actually brought it down to remind me to talk about the best of skincare tag. That was so fun to do with Sandra. I loved her video and I can't believe how many people have done it. I'm just so grateful. Both Alana's, actually as I was getting ready, Rianne just uploaded her version, Christina, just so grateful. And then I discovered so many new people, people, actually some people who've commented on my videos and I just didn't realize they made videos too. Mary Heather, if you're watching, she and I could be like long lost sisters and get together and talk about redheaded things and planning things. So it's been so fun to see everybody's answers and to discover new people. And I've been trying to keep a list. So I'll write it in the description box if you'd like to check out everybody's skincare tags on YouTube. And then a couple people have done them on your blog, on their blogs. And if you see the list and I've missed you, let me know because I've been off YouTube for like the past week. So I might've missed some comments, but I'm just so, so very grateful. I have a couple of fashion accessory things. The first is this bag. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting about this since the new year. I bought this with some Christmas money from Madewell and it has become such a little go-to bag. I'm not sure of the actual name, but it is crossbody style and it's so good for the weekend. I have a tendency to get one of my big bags and just load it down and carry so much more than I probably need. And then you spend a whole day and you're out walking or running errands and the bag just gets 
heavier feeling as the day goes on. This is just big enough to fit all of your essentials without going overboard. So I have a wallet, a card case, some couple makeup-y type things. I can even fit my cell phone charger and my cell phone in it. So just a great little bag. And it actually was, it's perfect on the weekends. It was perfect for travel. When I went to California, I carried a large tote and I also carried a carry-on on the plane. And I put this in the carry-on just empty. And then when I got to my destination, I put the essentials in here and it was great to to go out exploring. So just a really fantastic bag. I think the only downside that I've noticed so far, I'm 5'4 and I have this on the longest strap setting. So if you're really tall, it might be a little bit short, but if you're interested in it, I would just recommend going into store and trying it on first. And I do have one other made well thing. You know when you buy something and you think, oh yeah, I'm gonna like this, but then it just becomes integral to your wardrobe. That is the case with this scarf. And I don't even know why. I guess because it's so soft and I really like the color scheme. It has olive stripes, a navy stripe, cream, and kind of a peachy pink, and it is so incredibly soft. It's huge too. So I wear it out, but I also love it. My office is still freezing. We actually had a little bit of snow last week, so I think spring is still a little bit off for me, but this is great to put around my shoulders or I just kind of lay it over my legs. And it goes, honestly, with this color scheme, it go goes with most anything that I wear. And even if it doesn't match, I still have been wearing it. It came out in their transition spring set, so keep your eyes out because I think this might be going, if I had to guess, I think it would be going on sale pretty soon. I have one more scarf. Actually, I was worried I was never gonna get the chance to wear this because we had a random really warm spell and I thought, well, that's it for all my warm clothes. It's time to bring out the spring stuff, but it's gotten a little bit chilly again. I mentioned that we had some snow last week. So I've worn this a few times. This is technically a cowl, I think, but the reason that this one is so special to me is that a viewer, a viewer from Croatia named Jane made this for me. and. She's clearly very talented. I'm not sure, is this knit or crochet? That is how little I know about these things. But she even let me pick out my own yarn and I went with this gorgeous deep navy that I think looks so good with so many things that I own. So I pop this over my head and then I fold it over once. It's incredibly warm and cozy. So it just really means a lot that somebody cared enough to make me something. So I just homemade gifts. I think they're amazing. So thank you, Jane, so much. Talking about viewers, I have one other thing I wanted to show you, but going back to Madewell, I have run into viewers a handful of times, almost exclusively at Madewell. I had one incident in an Under Armour store where I feel like I was extra awkward because I was in there buying underwear for Jer, but other than that encounter, it's mostly been at Madewell. So I just wanted to say a quick shout out to the ladies at the Madewell in Tyson's and the ladies at the Madewell in Mosaic. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It really just makes my day. So I really appreciate it. And then talking about things that viewers have made for me. If you've been with me for a while and have watched any of my planner videos, I have longed for rifle paper company dividers ever since I was first looking into getting a nude Filofax and I found East LaRue on Instagram. She always is making amazing dividers and I tried it myself trying to copy her and it turned out Terribly. I don't have the machine, so I just got the sticky contact paper and it just ended up being a waste of an evening. Martha from Martha Plans on Etsy took my folders that I bought off the Rifle Paper Company website and she turned them into dividers for me and I just love them so much. They're so incredibly beautiful. Let me show you one other. I really love the black pattern too. And since we're here, let me just show you my other favorite. These are just incredibly lovely. They make me happy every time I open up my planner. So thank you, Martha, so much. And if you ever need dividers, her shop is my favorite to buy from. She has, she loves florals too. She, so she always has a lot of florals going on. So I'll put a link to her Etsy shop down below. And then one of my other favorite planning Etsy shops, Luckity came out with a set to celebrate her birthday. It's called Blossoming Birthday. And I think this should make it very clear why Katie and I get along so well. Our styles are very similar. I love this color scheme. I love the florals, it's gorgeous. And she started selling these. I think you would call this a dashboard, maybe. It's really pretty, it actually kind of matches my nails today. And in the corner, there's books, sunglasses, and lipsticks. So I love, love this set so much. I haven't even used it yet. I'm trying to be better about using up stickers before I go on to the next one. And I honestly think this will look really good in April's color scheme in the Inkwell Press too. Jer has traveled so much this year, probably more in the last three months than he has the entire time he's had this job. And it's just been some adjustments the first time he was gone for a long period of time i lived off of goldfish crackers and cookies for pretty much pretty much the entire month of january and i felt terrible at the end of it and then when he's gone he works nights so there's like a couple hours between when i get off work here and before he goes into work and we usually put up skype and sometimes we'll play video games another favorite for the two of you who play video games too heroes of the storm 
oh my word, where have I been? This game is so much fun. I'm so bad at it and Jared's really, really good at it, but he still likes to play with me. So we'll put up Skype and we'll play together and just talk about the day. So the combination of eating poor snacks and not getting a lot of nutrients and sitting a lot, I've just felt really bad. So I've made some changes. I've started being a little bit more active. I got a rebounder and that's been really fun. Just a couple weeks doing that. So once I've been doing my health stuff for a little bit longer, maybe I'll talk about in a video, but some little things I've just been trying to elevate those goldfish crackers and cookies. And I have found two new favorite things. First, I have these plantain chips from Inca chips and I normally buy plantain chips from Whole Foods, but I was at mom's organic market with my own mom and they didn't have the brand I normally buy. So I decided to try these. I like them even more. They're so good plain. I also like to dip them into that Kite Hill almond milk cream cheese spread. So these are delicious. And then my mom recommended these. They're the Emmy's Organic Coconut Cookies Lemon and Ginger Flavor. If you like coconut, these are fantastic. I'm not even the biggest coconut person and I love these. When she handed me the package, I thought they were gonna be really hard, but they are incredibly soft. I love the lemon and ginger flavor. This is the only one I've tried so far, but last night I did buy the vanilla beans. So the next time you're at your health food store, check to see if they have these because they're very, very good. The other thing in my health category are these essential oil roll-ons from Eden's Garden. Now I mostly use essential oils to diffuse. That's just my favorite way with a diffuser, an actual diffuser or with my diffusing jewelry. But I bought a set of their roll-ons and I've been really happy with them. My two favorites are eucalyptus. This I love to use first thing in the morning. I've been doing some breathing exercises and I have a very basic breathing app on my phone, but I roll on eucalyptus and I just think the scent just helps to open everything up so I get more benefit from the breathing exercises. And then my other favorite one is called Uplift. And this is great to keep my bag and use halfway during the day when I'm feeling a little bit of a slump. It's mostly citrus oil, so very invigorating. And what I love about these oils is that they come pre-made, so they're just ready to use. They already have the fractionated coconut oil in them, so I really like these. And I do really, really like Eden's Garden, and I can't they might be having a sale going on. I can't remember the dates of the sale and I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video, but I'll put a link to their website. They're, they're a great oil company. They're a little bit less expensive than some of the big names, but I think their packaging is beautiful and the customer service so far, I've, I've ordered at least five times, I think so far, and customer service has been good so far. My last category is Christmas presents. And at the beginning of December, Jer came to me and said he had no idea what to get me. And we, he and I share a Pinterest account and that's where we keep track of all the recipes that we like. I was like, oh, I just pinned something I really want. Why don't you go look on my Pinterest page? So in my mind, I had just pinned a bottle of perfume that I had really wanted, but I forgot that I had also pinned some stuff where we had been talking about redoing our bedroom and I had pinned this headboard he and his dad actually recreated and made by hand the headboard in that Pinterest image. And I just couldn't believe it. So that was my Christmas present from Jer and it was just the best, the best present I've ever gotten. And I've been with him since 11th grade. So there's been a lot of presents back and forth, but that is by far my favorite. And I think the reason I pinned it is because I thought it was cool from the front. It looks like a normal headboard, but from the side it's wider and it had shelves for books. So Jer did that and actually made the shelves. I have bunches of books up there, but he went a step further and he actually put outlets so I can charge my phone and there's USB ports and normal outlet ports just the coolest and since it's wider the top you could actually put some decorations I haven't yet I actually put two things up there but Momo likes to sleep up there at night so it was getting a little rattly but I do want to decorate it at some point but yeah that headboard has just been such a huge favorite I do think at some point we'll paint in there because now that the headboard is so dark I feel like the paint might be a little bit dark but I used some of my birthday money in January and got new side tables and I got really dainty side tables because I just thought it was kind of a nice con contrast from the real big headboard and you had these pretty kind of gold and glass side tables. So yeah, that's, that's my first favorite Christmas present. Another Christmas present is from my friend Diana. She sent me two books to my Kindle app and they have been, I've read the first one and it was really good. If you love a romance novel, this one I recommend. It's called Southern Solstice and it's written by Sarah Sadler. Can I get this without a glare, kind of, not really. <laughs> but it's set in Charleston and I had just been to Charleston for the first time in my life last August. Jer and I went for our anniversary and I loved it. And how she describes Charleston in this book, it just took me back there. So if you like a romance novel, this one was really good. I loved the romance, of course. I also liked all the family dynamics. I just felt like it ended, like I would have been very happy for it to have gone on. There was an oh my gosh moment and then the book was kind of over, but there is a second one. Diana gifted me that as well and I started it. And so I think we're gonna get a little bit more, but 
you need a good book recommendation. I really liked that. My last favorite, and it's at the top of my mind because I'm gonna go make one as soon as I'm done filming this, is my Nespresso machine. My friends Sarah and Karen have had one for a while, so I've had Nespresso at their house before and I really enjoyed it. So I put it on my Christmas list and my mom got it for me and it has been so nice. I gave up Starbucks for the month of March. I've only had one moment of weakness and it was technically at a Barnes and Noble, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna give that to myself or not. It was basically a Starbucks, but just because it's, a, it's an expensive habit and I've been trying to cut back on the amount of dairy that I'm having. So when I make the Nespresso at home, I have the milk frother, but I use an almond milk creamer instead. Froth that up, add it to the espresso, and it is so good. So that has been such a nice little morning treat. Okay, I think that's everything. I had quite the list and I feel like I went through this pretty quickly. I guess we'll see when I sit down to edit, but thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the beautiful gifts. Thanks for coming up if you ever see me out and about. I really appreciate it, but that is all I have for you today and I'll talk to you again very soon.